Hey guys, this is my video on the top 5 best multitasking apps for Android devices. So guys, all this app that I'm demonstrating in this video will help you in multitasking. And uh, since we have this multi window with the Galaxy Note 2, these days, you know, multitasking have been in trend with the smartphone users. So the first one here in my list is the swipe pad. Once you open it, you know, you can just uh, do this uh, basic setup. You just get this hint and, uh, you know, basic start guide here. And once you uh, have it, you know, you can just uh, do your general setup, like enabling this swipe pad, haptic feedback, sound on launch, transparent indicator. And as you can see, we have this uh, red highlighted area. This means this is the area where you can just make a swipe and launch this, uh, what do you say, a panel where you can access to these apps quickly. So once you have done this basic setup, now you go back, make a swipe, sorry, make a swipe, and you have this uh, panel here, and you have these blank tiles here. And here you can add applications, widgets, or whatever you use the most. Say for example, I want some applications here. Now I add camera here, again. I want uh, Drippler here. So now that's done, I can just go ahead and launch it pretty quick. Really fast, really handy. So say you want to edit any tile, alright, and uh, instead of this tripler, you want to add some any other application, you can just take this circle to it and wait for some time. Now the color changes to yellow, the inner circle, let it go. And again you can just swap it with some additional application, say Dropbox, oh, now I make a swipe, sorry. Okay, they have it. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's my number one. The next one here is the swaps. So, guys, once you have this app, you know, you can just do it, your basic setup again. All right, haptic feedback and stuff like that. And this green highlighted area, you can change it to this left side or right side. You can change its length, breadth, etc. And once done, you can just go back. And now you make a swipe from that area and you have this list of applications here. You have this recent, recently used apps here. You can add applications here that you use the most, all apps here, and you can just go through all your apps and just open it. Pretty quick, really fast. The next one is the sidebar. This again is a sidebar, you know, and uh, it's like a multi-window. Okay, once once that's installed, you can just make a swipe. And you have these uh, multi-window kind of tray here. You can add any additional apps that you use the most from your app drawer. So you have this list of apps here and widgets here. You can place any widget or any application from your phone and uh, you can just make a swipe and launch that app. The next one here is the home flip. So this is the home flip and how it works is once you have this app, you can just make a swipe here and you have these applications here. You can customize it from this settings menu. You can go on to it, you know, on the general settings, you can enable this left-handed mode full screen, on screen menu, so all apps, uh, number of smart tasks, that is you know the number of, so the number of tasks means uh, these tasks here, you can customize it how many tasks you want, you can add favorite apps to it, so once you are done with this general settings you can go on to animations, enable extra animations, so once that's done you can just go back and uh, say you are on this uh, dribbler. Now you want to go on to this camera app, you can just make a swipe, sorry, make a swipe and you can go on to camera. This uh, swapping between applications is really easier with this home flip. So that's my number four. So guys, the last one here is the easy launch. So once you have this uh, app, you just need to go on to widgets and get this easy launch widget, place it on any of your home screen and just leave it. So you get this widget, you know, full of uh, applications here. You can customize it. Once you have this widget placed on any of your home screen, open that app again, and you have these menu here. You can fix shortcuts, you know. You know, you have all your shortcuts here. You can just see if you don't want pixel aromatic to get displayed in that widget. You just need to take it to this off mode. So now I won't have this pixel aromatic displaying here so you can customize in that way all right so it's pretty handy again a number of shortcuts you can customize the number of shortcuts you can create your profile so these are the apps you know that helps you multitask and uh, makes your multitasking easier 
So I'll be coming up with the part two very soon. So stay subscribed. Bye bye now and have a great day.